Good morning, morning from the sea. It's beautiful out there. That's true. We are going to get some breakfast mm -hmm. and see what we do today. There's lots of stuff happening. Yeah, probably at the dining room. Um, oh, yeah. They serve for how much longer? Like half an hour more. Okay, but well, we'll putter on up yeah. there. We don't like to stress them out at the end no, of service time. Definitely not. Okay, breakfast in the dining room, which is in the island uh, midship. Midship one. And all the dining rooms have the same menu. You know, it's not like you have to really pick and choose. Um, right. Yeah. Yo, the on-demand service has never started working oh, no. last night. <laughs> it was quite the sad We tried tale. movies, different TV shows, love boats. So maybe. Mm. It was the universe telling us to go to sleep, it which was. is what we needed, honestly. So yeah. that's it. And we also discovered there are quite a few night lights in the floor. I forgot Princess has automatic night lights, so every time I would put my feet down off the bed, boom, night light comes on. Walk by the bathroom, night light, mm -hmm. and it's bright too. Like yeah, the closet, boom, the light above the closet comes on no matter what. So we it's haven't a safety thing, but not one we love personally. No, I haven't found a way to disable that. So anyway, y'all, let's eat some breakfast <laughs> yeah. and do stuff. Get out of the room. Mm -hmm. You see, right down there, that's a night light. Bajump. Here, let's recreate. Yeah, I'll show you and then D's sleeping. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, look, that one actually came on. And That's then, really funny. Yeah, as soon as you walk around here, bam, boom. closet light this comes light. on. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's a lot. Onward. Let me get a little sneak peek at our menu here behind the glass just outside the entrance of the place. Okay. These are the daily specials and such over here. I like the cute little pictures. <laughs> Not too much of a line over here. It's moving pretty quickly this morning. A little dining room bath on. So yeah, this is Island Dining Room. Alright, we just looked at it, but one more one more quick look down my actual menu. No coffee swirl today because they come in pour the cream and the coffee for you. I might have to catch them doing a coffee swirl sometime. Ooh, bready time. Um, I'll do a bran muffin too. Well, we both went with a bran muffin. As tempting as chocolate bread was, or lemon danishes, which he also had. <laughs> Oh, there's some kind of a guests versus crew beanbag toss happening out here in the piazza. Oh, I see they're doing it from up there. They're also getting set up for some cooking demonstrations or something here in a while. One <laughs> score to beat is nine. Three, two, one, go! I guess that they were giving them two minutes. Oh, two minutes for nine bags. So it's kind of relay race style. Toss the bag and hit to the back of the line. Oh, they've got eight in so far. Can they get there? The bean bags have been tossed and now they're getting ready to cook some stuff for us. I guess to teach us about the steakhouse and sabatinis. Ooh, we got the Italian table set up. I don't know how much we'll be able to see once they start cooking, so we'll do a little pass now. This must be the steakhouse set up. I like the little carvings though. Check that out. Both of these dining, the Shabi dining rooms, everything is cooked to order. Uh, everything is made from scratch. Pasta freshly made every day. Um, Ooh, it's got some onion fish. soup down there. Heck yeah. So we can open, you can see the nice onion soup somehow with the bread. Mm. Before inside. The first one is to fill it. This one, this one is the uh, This one is the New York. Which was from us, and this is our revive. We did fat inside. 40 months. They are all cooked on the flat grills. But unfortunately, we cannot bring the flat grill here, so we can use a pan. Now we put it in the barbecue oil in a pan. Not too much. Now we put the meal in a pan. Serious. Okay. Both of us. Oh, flambe time! Ooh, don't make any mistakes over there. How you cook? How you cook it? Yes. 
So today I'm going to introduce our pasta. Our English words is a dry one. Let me show you. It's a linguine pasta. And share pasta. Uh, this is a papadere. This is a penne pasta. Now we plunge in the hot water with this salt and oil. Egg means become like this. But without cooking them very much. Sugar, cream, eggs. We shall sponge the egg meats on here. Slowly still. Because all of us will eat first with the eyes, so it has to be very appealing to the eyes first. Very nice creamy sauce. Yes. We touch up from passing. Very easy, easy and simple dish. Uh, zero calories. We don't have any calories in here. Uh -huh. We put them over the bowl. So if you are interested, please call the guideline, either you go yourself and, uh, to the location. We are looking forward to see you there. Have a nice day. Ciao for now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, we're getting ready to leave deck five. Oh yeah, there's Vines Bar, like a little Vines shop. Interesting. A little internet cafe over here. Well, let's motivate. I think we will finally go up and out because surprise, this ship does have an outside. We haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> let's go to 15. Oh yeah, they're getting ready to have a martini flare thing here in the piazza, but now let's go ahead and head outside. Is that a manatee? Yeah. Wow. Oh, we found everybody, yes. We got digital screens out here. What is this, another little uh, coffee shop? Cute. Are you gonna play games? Are you gonna play tipsy tentacle slots? Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, funny, so it looks like three of the screens are general, like touch screens for information, and three of them are actually like the uh, casino machines. The way to be non-smoking. True. Oh. <laughs> that chair. Coffee and cones, yeah, so oh, coffees. And then they have a line for cones. Oh, they've got those premium desserts up here. That's part of like their new little uh, premium type of beverage packages and stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah, another little pool back here. Everybody's basking in the sun. Oh, they got credits rolling. I guess they were watching a movie out here. Sweet. Little bar. I see this is the entrance to the buffet back here. So that was the Calypso bar that we passed earlier. Towel pick up and return. Right, I think if we continue wandering now toward what I think is the front, we'll pass the burger spot or something up here. Ah, we've come across Slice as well as another bar. They are rocking margarita, calabrese, and pepperoni. Not hungry. Not hungry yet, no. Oh, this is the Salty Dog Grill. Yes, burgers, dogs, and all that stuff. And then we had the mix bar that we just walked by. Let's venture back in here where it's a little less people-y. Sea days are always crazy. Oh, this is, this is a residential area. Back downstairs. We are having a working lunch in the cabin, so we got room service delivered because I love all the stuff you can order on the app. That is complimentary. That is my chili. chili. Let's get a less glary look at it. Ooh, it's a vegetarian chili with chips. That would be a giant cheeseburger with fries. That's Dee's lunch. Let's put this over there for her. This is mine. Uh, this is also mine. I was keeping the sort of tex mexy trend going with some little chicken tacos. Good job. There we go. Good evening, happy, fresh, and clean. That time. Our lighting is still a little weird in here, but it's all right. And you know, if you see this water stain, just leave. It looks like Apparently, a dinosaur. It does. Uh, okay. Did y'all see my dinosaur? <laughs> Apparently I must have spilled some breakfast or something on there and I just found it. It's That's okay. embarrassing. It is time to hop out. We are going to pretty much, it's almost dinner time, y'all. Yeah. We knocked out a lot of work in the cabin. We did, but we needed the today to do that. Oh, yeah, sea days. Did some, and we're going to do a bunch of stuff tonight. So. True. Yes. Yeah. Sea days are good work catch up days, but it's funny when you watch it back in video form, it's like, oh, we ate breakfast, we ate lunch, we ate dinner. It <laughs> A lot of things happen in between. A yeah. lot of time goes by. Yeah. But yep, dinner time. Mm -hmm. um, there's like shows, there's game it's shows. All night. Lots of things going on. Yeah. yeah. Let's get out of this cabin. It's <laughs> a little warm in here, so. Really Roll out. <laughs> Let's go down, down. But we're getting all set up for the champagne waterfall later. That's right. We've also got the violinist here in the piazza. 
Wow, they're filling up some of the bottom glasses already. Is that cheating for the fountain? No, just, just kidding. <laughs> Sneak into the side entrance of the Explorer's Lounge. Oh wow. Oh, there's like a seminar going on. Oh, we forgot. I think the Evening Elite Lounge is open right now. So wait a minute. Club Fusion. This should be us. You know, a fun fact. We've decided to postpone our dinner. We went in there. That was the solo travelers get together. So we're just bumming around like crazy people. We could be solo travelers. We, we are two solo together. travelers. How about that? <laughs> We're still in search of the thingamajig. We're gonna try 18, because we're thinking Skywalker's might be the spot. Skywalker's nightclub, we did it. Reserved for elite and platinum guest. What in the world is happening here? Skywalker's, okay. Guys, we're getting on a people mover. It's the airport. Did we just get off the ship and go back to the, the airport? Alrighty, I was not aware that there was a people mover up here. I don't know why this footage looks so blue, but hey. Dabba dee, dabba die. Yeah, you can get peeks at a aqua park. My reflection. This is fascinating. Wow. Yeah, it don't take much to impress me, but I mean, is this not impressive? Alright, first steps in Skywalker Snake Club. <laughs> We've got some keyboard tunes happening. Nice views out to the water. Let's we'll see what kind of snacks we're working with. A bar. So we've got vegetable crudite, chips and guac, marinated cheese, oh, marinated olives, chicken lollipops, pretzels, crackers, cheese, fruit, oh, even little like chocolate moussey things. Oh, I can reach your fortune in this little lamp there. That's kind of cool. So I got, yeah, I got cheese, pretzels, more cheese, chicken, veggies and guac. Very light, man. Yeah. I've like decided to try a beverage called the Captain's Bounty. And this bounty, oh, the music is back on because the announcement's <laughs> over. It does sound like Christmas. Four different kinds of rum and like some pineapple and some stuff. Bounty, behold. The only thing that can make this place more perfect is a good pig in a blanket. But you know what? I'll allow it. There's enough cheese where I'm happy. Now, weird phenomenon. When this keyboard gentleman finishes a song, no one claps. He clapped for him the first time, and he looked at her like, why are you clapping? So we have not clapped since. I guess he's just not used to. Like, he's just background noise for this party up here, which is sad. We enjoy music. Anyway, we're going to keep enjoying music. One time he finished the song, and I went, whoop, but he didn't hear me. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Bye, y'all. You know, comparing the uh, horizon against the slant of the window, we've taken on a decidedly right turn. I think it's to avoid the storm. Just gonna stay seated until we're done with this maneuver. Yeah, it's like uh, climbing a hill trying to move around back here. Um, Alright, I think we're we're leveling out oh, now. I see it now. Yep. Uh huh, back. coming back down. Alright, snacks. We are gonna head out of Skywalkers. Now there's not a people mover up, so you just take the side, walk your way back down. <laughs> Got a little waviness, a little storminess out there. You can definitely feel it bumping. We're on deck 18, so yeah, we're it's, yeah, it's we're really high amazing. and aft right now. This is the coolest way to get into a club I've ever seen. That's so neat. Love it. Ah, uh, yes, the lounge is for elite and platinum. That's right. Yeah, so there are two elevators that come all the way up here, one on either side of the walkway. They got restrooms and everything over in this little hall. And of course, stairs, and you know, touch screens and stuff with that journey view. Oh, they have jazz tunes in the wheelhouse. I think they've already done the champagne waterfall out here in the piazza. We're making our way forward to see a show. Here we have it, Princess Theater. And we are here for the Broadway show tonight. Washy washy. So with all those snacks, we have decided we are definitely 
ditching dinner for now. <laughs> for now, yeah. So Showtime, I forget the exact name, it's The Broadway Show is what I'm calling it. Yeah, something about Broadway. We'll tell you later when we remember. That's true. We'll listen for announcements to see if we can record or not. I forget, sometimes these older ships you can, sometimes just not. You'll see if yeah. we do. <laughs> You'll see if you can see. <laughs> Please feel free to take a seat and get ready for Showtime. All right. For our guests who have the Princess Premiere package, you will find your reserve seating has been identified by the blue back premiere Oh, seat over there. Please kindly note that these seats are reserved solely for our Princess Premiere package holders. That's right. But they will be released for general use five minutes prior to showtime. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Guys, look. We're learning things. So, this open. Oh, the it's, it's like the right armrest, yeah? Whoa. For, for your drink. That's amazing. Now, oddly enough, they don't really seem to serve drinks in here, but I think you can bring a drink in here, so just remember that. It's like if you need to take the SAT or something, you just, <laughs> just, you like just take your desk. little, yeah, it's like a college, uh, college campus. Uh -huh. That's funny. It's not good for left-handed people, though. Oh, you're right. <laughs> no one left. Uh -huh. We would like to remind you that due to copyright restrictions, the use of audio or video equipment is not permitted, and we also kindly request that there's no flash photography during the performance. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Uh, please allow me to introduce myself. If I haven't had a chance to meet you yet, my name is Fernando. It's my pleasure to be your cruise director. How's your cruise going so far? Are you having a good time? Well, they're ready for the Yes No Game Show. They're in Explorers, but I think we might finally be ready for dinner. So let's say yes to dinner. We're gonna jump down to deck six to the palm dining room again. Well, technically our reservation has passed. Let's join the without reservation line. Oh, no line, no waiting pretty much, which is surprising for about 8.30 p.m. Oh, something knocked over. I didn't do it. So we got the captain's welcome menu. There's our starters. It's a cute menu. I like all this. I feel like this art style is new and I hadn't seen this. Mains, desserts. Oh yeah, they still got, look, that lychee rose mousse is showing up. I don't know if it'll be every night, but hmm. So we've got a cute little corner over here. Oh, the branches showed up. Whoa. Whoa! Take a look at that big hunk of bready goodness. Venture up to seven. Now we find ourselves in the old Explorers Lounge. They're going to be doing I'll Take Trivia for 100. Yeah, she just called folks up there to get their papers. I think we're just going to play in spirit from afar. If I remember this game correctly, you have to write your answers on a Jeopardy style paper and run them up to the front to get them graded before moving on to the next question. That's a lot of running. Okay, we're too full for that. <laughs> Since we don't really need a prize, we can keep up with our own score back here. Honor system, honor system, or mocking Jay. I don't know what hand signs I'm doing right now. Is this Boy Scouts and this is mocking Jay? And this is Pinky's up. I... Rock, rock, rock on! <laughs> Shaka shaka. <laughs> Alright, so for our first categories, we've got dates in history. Ooh. And then we've got science. We've got sports. We've got landmarks. And also the final category is celebrities. So for each category, we will have five questions. So we can do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Okay, history, four, two, 
200. Let's take a look at our question here. Okay, so history 200. Oh my gosh, they've got nature questions. We know the nature questions. Oh, we learned this one in our England research. Hey, let's motivate onward. Oh, we've come down to deck five now for good spirits. So this is the fun menu with drinks from all around the world. In some ships, I know they let you collect the little, are they coasters? The little things where you can keep track of which ones you've tried. But they're all inspired by different zones of the world, except for, uh, where's that last one? The sparkly one. Oh no, that's Oslo. That one, butterfly. <laughs> We have made our selections. The one on the left is the Cartagena Cool, which is Appleton rum, cinnamon, orange, and chocolate bitters with an orange peel. Uh, maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a peel on the side. I got the Bangkok Mule, which is whiskey, basil, lemongrass, ginger syrup, lime, and ginger beer. Ooh, exotic. Well, we're gonna take the panoramic elevator up this time. Oh, there's like a lot of art. <laughs> it's cool, like coral fishy art. Oh, that's me. Hey, there's me and the camera. Andy. Hey. Taking our beverages back to the cabin. Oh, there's like water. Did you see that? Oh, I like missed it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> bubbles. My bubbles. She does it again. Right, let me back up. Oh, wow. Take 11. All right. Well, we came back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow under the door and on the bed was a time change notice because we are currently on Eastern Daylight Time and we have to switch back an hour to be on Cozumel time. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. Yes. Much cooler cabin, mind you. Something Yo. changed in here. It's lovely. Our air condition <laughs> kicked in the gear. I think maybe yes. the steward or somebody was like, oh, it's hot because we didn't say anything. Thank you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, Let's go through what have we done since we saw you last. We went to the show. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Broadway show. Mm -hmm. I forget exactly what it's called. Sorry we couldn't film it. It was oh, yeah. excellent. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was like a little bit of older Broadway shows, mm -hmm. but then they also threw in a mix and they made them more modern. I like that they had um, kind of like ballroom dances to Broadway songs, which was cool to see. They kind of incorporated it all. The stage was beautiful. The props mm -hmm. were beautiful. The outfits were beautiful and they made good use of like the area on the stage for dancing. True. I think that the, good. the most modern show they had might have been something like Mamma Mia or yeah, I don't know. Uh, and I think the show was actually called Broadway Ballroom. So that makes um, sense. Duh. I think editing me, double check it, put the caption up, but I think it was called Broadway didn't even Ballroom. Catch that if that's the case. Yeah, I didn't realize it until he said it at the beginning of the show or whatever. The sound mixing was really good, honestly. Like yeah. the music did not overpower the vocals and those singers sounded like Broadway people. It, it was, was good. Really it was really good. Very good. Yeah. We approve of that one. Yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, then we went to the Jeopardy game, which was fun. They didn't mm -hmm. get through a whole lot of questions because they were going a little bit slow, you know, letting the audience pick the answers and stuff. But it, it was, was fun. Hard. It was hard. Very hard. Woof. Uh, and then Good Spirits. I don't <laughs> think this is the kind where they necessarily give out the little coasters or no, I'm trying to figure out if they're even set up to do the, like the demonstrations on the TV. I don't know that they are, but they have TV. They do. But I didn't see a camera over the bar. And I haven't seen it in the um, no. schedule. Pattern. We'll see <laughs> if we notice it. Then. Um, We'll show you. We'll find it. All right. Are we up to dinner? Dinner time. Can we do dinner? Yes. We're just going to call this one Dinner with D&J. Thanks to Laura Henshaw for that one who said, Thanks. we definitely need more Dinner with D&J segments. We'll go with that. Here's another one. So let's start off with your fruit. The tapioca fruit salad -y kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. great. I would actually order it as dessert because it's light and refreshing. I love tapioca. And it had like mango in it, which was really tasty Ooh. and a surprise. Loved it. Nice. I got the crab cake. <laughs> now, okay, oh, no. I will start with the good. The flavor of the crab cake, I would say it was excellent. It was a really good tasting crab cake. The sauce was really good and paired well with it. The texture of the crab cake was a little bit like mashed potatoes. Now, it had lumps in it. It was homemade mashed potatoes. I'm not talking about box potatoes. <laughs> the texture was like good mashed potatoes. That's not really the texture I like in my crab cake, but the, we're, we're rocking. We're rocking. Um, but the taste was really good. If it had been a little bit less um, mushy, I would have liked it better. Um, you had no. Here's a weird story. You had salmon. 
So I did have salmon because <laughs> they had red snapper on the menu and I was gonna try that and the gentleman was kind enough or I'm not sure what happened but he was like, oh no, no, you do not want the red snapper. It's been like, what did he say? Sent back two times Sent at back least a couple and of it was times rubbery. And rubbery. I was like, okay, well I'm gonna take your suggestion and not get that. He was like, do you like salmon? I was like, sure. Yeah. So I ended up with salmon with couscous, mm -hmm. like some artichoke sauce or something and shrimp. Um, it was really good though, actually. I, I enjoyed it. One thing, they don't have salt and pepper on the table. Oh, true. So I would have added like maybe a little more seasoning, but I didn't want to bother him. He was extremely busy, so yeah. good suggestion. But you enjoyed his dinner overall. Yes, okay. I did. We don't know how your dinner tasted, but know. that's fine. I had vegetarian Greek meatballs, I think they were called. Because you know, anything weird on a menu that I don't think I've seen before, I'm gonna order it. Yeah. Uh, now this, the eggplant and the zucchini had grill marks. They were smoky, they were delicious. Tomato sauce was wonderful. Pretty much all the sauces on the plate, everything else. And mm -hmm. then we get to the meatballs. And again, I had the texturaliest weird dinner tonight. <laughs> the flavor of the meatballs, very good. And it went well with the sauce. So I liked the meatballs, but again, I think it was basically polenta and it was a mushy, mushy ball. Uh, yeah. So texture wise, I struck out twice tonight. I'm Flavors, so excellent. Texture, mm, meh. At least it tasted good, you know? Yeah. Just the flowers. I, I, I was trying to identify the flower on the table, so I was using an app <laughs> and I took a lot of pictures of the flowers. You we think did. it's a, a lily or a St. Martin flower. Yes. Um, you had sorbet and chocolate sauce. Yeah, you can do build your own sundae and sorbet is one of the options. And there's cranberry sorbet. I thought it was raspberry. So I was like, put chocolate sauce on it. But it was still good because it's not overly cranberry. Mm -hmm. It was extremely sweet sorbet though. I'm not sure if sorbet is always that sweet. But the chocolate actually kind of cut through that a little bit. Okay. Good I, would, option. I would think cranberry would have a little bitey to it. It did not. Okay. No. <laughs> and I got the Princess Love Boat Dream. Now this sucker was red. If you've noticed, every Princess Love Boat Dream I've had in the past is brown. It's a brown heart with uh, chocolate mousse in it and something. There's always a, like a cookie on the bottom. This one had a raspberry layer in it and it's red. And I think it was more delicious than the original. Oh. I liked it better. Maybe that's why they changed it. Maybe. I really liked it better than the original. <laughs> original Princess Love Boat Dream and I even posted it on Instagram asking people why is it red and I'm getting ready to go read the comments <laughs> and see if anybody is smart and knows why that sucker is red. I think it might be a reality TV tie-in to the real Love Boat. Because there's I, pink like all over the ship yeah, now. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm. And that is it. Yep. That is the end of our dinner and the end of our day. Yes. It was a good day. Yeah. So we will see you tomorrow. We're in Cozumel, Mexico. Yay. Um, yeah. <laughs> see you tomorrow. We gotta change our clocks. That's true. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Side note, the love boat works again, so on demand is back, baby.